Welcome to Science with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover adaptations, and adaptations are characteristics of living things that help them survive in their environment. And there are both physical and behavioral adaptations. So specifically in this video, we're going to take a, take a look at physical and behavioral adaptations of giraffes. And this is going to help us better understand what physical and behavioral adaptations are. So let's jump right into it and we're going to start with physical adaptations. And physical adaptations involve physical features, so parts of the body. So let's start out with the physical adaptation that giraffes are probably most well known for, their long necks. So we have arrows going around here that are pointing to the adaptations and we're going to go through what each of these arrows are pointing to. So we'll start with the long neck. And giraffes have a long neck that give them an advantage as far as accessing food. Giraffes primarily eat leaves and twigs, so reaching these on trees is important to their survival. So let's go up to this arrow here and this is representing the tough long and purple tongue. So giraffes have a long and tough tongue because it helps them pull leaves from trees that have thorns like the acacia tree. And the tongue is purple or a dark color so giraffes don't get sunburn on their tongue. They, uh, their tongue is frequently exposed throughout the day while eating so the dark color helps protect their tongue from sunburn. Let's go to the back here and it's pointing to the giraffe's strong heart. So giraffes have an extra strong heart because they need a powerful heart in order to pump blood up their long necks to their brain. Let's go to the arrow to the left and this is pointing to their fur pattern or camouflage. So any type of fur pattern or camouflage that helps in a species blend in is considered a physical adaptation. So the giraffe's fur pattern is used for camouflage. The color and pattern, pattern blend in with their natural environment. We'll take a look at giraffe's tails next. And giraffes have long fringed tails. And these long fringed tails help them swat insects away. And lastly, for our physical adaptations, we have thick hooves. And these thick hooves are used to protect the giraffe's feet, and they also use them as weapons when giraffes defend themselves from pred predators with kicks. So those are all examples of physical adaptations. And remember, physical adaptations involve physical features, so parts of the body. Now these physical adaptations of giraffes equip them with the specific tools they need in order to survive in their environment. Now giraffes have more physical adaptations than that, but that's a handful of examples there to help you with understanding what physical adaptations are. So let's move on to behavioral adaptations. So behaviors or actions that something takes in order to survive in its environment is a behavioral adaptation. So let's go through a couple behavioral adaptations of giraffes. First, giraffes are very vulnerable when drinking water. Bending over with that long neck and not being able to see what's behind them makes them very susceptible to an attack. Giraffes are therefore able to gulp or drink water very quickly in order to cut down on the amount of time they're drinking. This is an action not a part of, of the giraffe's body, so it's a behavioral adaptation. So I'll make note over here how they drink water. And another vulnerable point in a giraffe's day is when it needs to sleep. Sleeping leaves a giraffe open to attacks. If you think about the size of a giraffe, it's not going to be easy to hide someplace to sleep, so they've adapted. Giraffes have a very short sleep requirement. Giraffes even have the ability to sleep while standing up and can sleep for short five or so minute bursts. 
Giraffes can get by on only 30 minutes of sleep in a 24 hour period. So giraffe sleeping habit, habits are another behavioral adaptation. So I'll put sleeping habits. So again, behavioral adaptations are behaviors or actions something takes in order to help it survive in its environment. So there you have it. There are adaptations, both physical and behavioral. I will follow this video up with a part two where we will take a look at the adaptations of another animal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.